Fantasy Bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we explored Kakariko Village a bunch, and we found all five of the stone slabs. We even made progress in our Secret of the Ring Ruins quest, where now we have to gather at the Skyview Tower near the ruins in the Farron region, southeast of the map, but southwest of where we currently are. So if we take a look at the map right here, we are heading down this way, which is cool because it's a region we haven't been in. We'll be able to get that that Skyview Tower, make some progress that way. But since we haven't really explored it too much, I figure we will just follow the path down as much as possible. I mean, obviously, some of this stuff we've sort of kind of explored, but not really. So I figure that's what we'll get started with is that we'll just, you know, turn around this way and we will just make our way through the main path until we get to where we're going. It should be pretty cool. But yeah, that was, it's a fun way to explore. We'll probably run into some new stuff along the way, but I'm glad these two are getting along. We helped them out. We did a couple of different side quests in the last episode, so I'm glad we got that all figured out. And apparently there was a, a hearty truffle somewhere down here. Is it still down there? So if it is, I would really want to get it, but I don't see anything, so I might just leave it. I could try swimming at the waterfall, but I don't know if I'm too interested in that right now. So we'll just continue down this way. I probably do want to change our gear though. Let's see what I can change it to. Might just want to change it to this kind of stuff for now. That should work out pretty well. And it did seem like south of us, there is another fairy thing, the Great Fairy Fountain. I don't know what I need to do to get that one figured out, but I should definitely look into it because it would just be good to have. Okay, let's grab another frog. And with this mushrooms and stuff. But yeah, if we just travel around and scavenge, I'm sure we'll find lots of cool stuff. Even if it is just frogs and plants, they're all important things to get. So, look it up here, grab that one too. And keep it moving. We haven't really explored around Hyrule in the last couple of episodes. We were in the depths, we were exploring Kakarika Village, so I think it would be cool just to um, make our way around here. And there's somebody here. The ruins are famous. You're walking away from them. You're here too to see the sights, right? Let me guess. You want to see the chief of Kakarika Village. I'm right, huh? I heard she's an amazing leader who rebuilt the village. The folks there love her. Oh, but don't let me keep you. Kakariko Village is right down the road. Have fun. I was already there, so don't have to tell me twice. And a bunch of Hylian tomatoes over here, which are really nice to have. So there we go. And I guess we're heading here. Ooh, look who it is. Haven't seen our buddy over here in a little bit. Definitely want to help them with this sign. This is a double-sided one with a big notch in it. So I think that we could just start with something like this. Try to slide that into there if we can. Actually, I might be, hmm, just like that. Do we? Got it. Okay, so not super sturdy at the moment, but we can fix that just by uh, putting something like that. And then on the other side, same deal. Up and over, boom. And that might be enough to just keep it nice and sturdy. I'll have to wait and see. I mean, it looks like there's enough space to maybe even just put one of the other kind of planks, but we'll grab that iron shroom and talk to you really quick. We'll see if that's enough. All right, Addison, let it go. Mm -hmm. It seems pretty sturdy to me. <laughs> Come on, give it a moment. How's the president standing? So we'll get some nice rewards from this as we usually do. Let's put this right there, get that fastened end. Very cool, perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so on his own. So we get our typical rewards here, 20 rupees, some energizing mushroom rice balls, and then finally, a uh, sleepover ticket. We have a lot of sleepover tickets at this point. All right, see ya, Addison. Glad I could help with that. And we're back to it. So yeah, everything in this direction, we really haven't explored too much. That's one of the Skyview Towers, but not the one we're actually after. Oh, are you the one? Is that a drum? Mm. You hear that? It's coming from around here somewhere. Is that a drum? I don't hear it, but I'm gonna entertain it. I do hear it. Uh. I'm hearing that then. Maybe it's the one I'm destined to walk through life with, calling to me in that way. But it can't be, it just can't be. Uh. I wonder where it's coming from. I've been scouring here for the source, but I haven't found it yet. Huh. I don't hear a drum, but if I do hear a drum, I'll try to look around for it too. Oh, I do hear it. It's coming from over here. 
What is with that? Oh, hey! Look at you guys! You're one of the people part of the band! Bee 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 dum! This is beats! Ba dum ba dum ba dum! Ba dum ba dum be dum! Yeah! Come on! Ba dum ba dum be dum! Buzz buzz a dum buzz a buzz a buzz a dum! What are you doing? Whoa! Hey, hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Ha. Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe I play in has been a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer our ma maestro right up. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said there were some beehives around Kakarika Village to the north, near that huge hole that opened up. But that hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. Oh yeah, I forgot to go into that. Honey, be mine, side adventure. Beach wants to cheer up the, the ma maestro? I thought it was maestro. His beloved band leader by making him a honey crepe. Unfortunately, he's still missing the key ingredient. With three combs of coarser bee honey from the hives near the Kakarika Village chasm, Beats is sure he can make a delicious crepe. Do I have enough? I have one coarser bee honey, so I need two more. I did see some bees, but I just sort of left them alone. Should I do that now is the question, or should I save that for later? I mean, these kind of things are usually pretty important to get the uh, great fairy, but I guess we still have the one great fairy, so we don't have to worry about it too much. We'll come back for it later on, because I'm sure we have plenty of things to adventure around today, um, but it's good to get that started for sure. So. Having that marked on my map. I do see some little birds over here that I want to make sure I have pictures of. They're gonna try to walk away. Blue sparrows, we got it. Okay, cool. So we're just continuing down here. You know what? Let's have some fun. Oh, this is going. This is cool. Whoa. All right, make our way down this hill a little bit. We're picking up some pretty major speed. I wonder if we'll find another Addison sign down here. It doesn't look like it. That was a pretty good way to travel down that hill. Very fun, very fun. We're at the Kakariko br Bridge here in West Nakuda. Oh, and there's somebody on a horse over here, as well as a shrine way up there. Ooh, and there's some lightning storms rolling in. Very scary. Hi there. I'm going. I have to. Yeah. Hey, it's you. You're looking well. Yeah, it's Garshan. Ah. Hey, have you seen them? Have you seen the ring ruins? Recently, some of the ruins were hit by falling debris and lost their shape. But still, they're wondrous, absolutely worth the trip to Kakariko ah. Village. I mean, if the Zonai survey team is studying them, you know they must be something special. Ah. Speaking of traveling, I wonder if my brothers are still at the new Serene stable, bickering about swords and beasts. Who knows, but good luck. Oh, and speaking of stable, I do see one way over here. Something just fell from an island above. Interesting, I'm gonna save that for later. Whoa, what's going on over here? We got a full tent set up. This is cool, I hope they're okay. Oh, hello, you're just passing through? Squad one of the monster control crew led by Haas is about to engage with some monsters near here. Oh yeah, if you can't hold your own in a fight, I'd advise you stay away. Way over there. Haas is taking them to Fort Hateno, which is to the east along that road. They are planning to get rid of the monsters who set up a stronghold there. Oh. I've been helping them out by taking care of the horses and making elixirs. Thing is, I was so worried about them coming back safe and sound that I made way too much. You wanna take some? I'm sure it'll come in handy during your travels. We got a hasty elixir. Of course, grants a low level haste effect. Mm. The squad's got some experience under their belts now, but those monsters they're up against look pretty tough. I wish someone with fighting skills would give them a little extra help. Well, I definitely will help with that. I think we already have that quest sort of marked, so we'll definitely check that out soon. But, uh, ooh, what's this say? Heading east to clean monsters out of our renowned Fort Hateno, Captain Ha's Monster Control Crew, Squad One. All right then. And oh, who's this? Maintenance is crucial. Ooh. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travelers right now. That's what you are, right? Traveler? Captain Ha's squad of the Monster Control Crew is engaged in a battle to quell the monsters near here. Oh. The fighting should be in full swing at Fort Hateno down the road to the east by now, so I advise keeping your distance. If you're curious on how the battle is going, you could go watch, but take care you don't get caught up in the fray. I'll definitely be careful. Can I take the sword? I'm, I'm, my inventory's full anyways. <laughs> okay, uh, there's a little soup ladle here too. Do I have a picture of the soup ladle? Yes. So let's read this little note here. Note on the table. Link makes ready for, or yeah, Link makes ready use 
of the jump slash, leaping into the air and swinging his weapon down with a practice ease. All crew members should be diligent in their daily training and inspire toward that level of mastery. Captain Haas. See, so yeah, of course, attack from above and do a splash damage by jumping and attacking in mid air like that. We've done it many times. It's probably my favorite go to move. What is that? Oh, there's probably Kilton, Colton, one of the two. See, Captain Haas is off in a fight in this direction, it seems. Uh, but that is definitely something we'll have to save for some other time. What if I read this? Kakariko Village, Hitano Village. I definitely want to go to Hitano at some point, just not now. So now we're back to our adventure here. What is over there? I thought I saw something over the horizon. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Might be worth taking a look around. We'll definitely check out this stable too. Whoa, look at all these guys. There's an army of them. There's actually so many. And there's some horses around here too. Very pretty, but uh, let's grab some extra stuff. Are any of these guys new? That one looks like they could be. Uh, here, let's try to get rid of you a little bit. One more shot, one more shot, gotcha. All right, friends, I'm gonna need your help here soon enough. If we could, here, where is, why are you so far over? Here, got it. Let's cause some trouble for some enemies over this way, if we can. Ready, and boom. That's gotta do something, right? Okay, Captain Constructs 4 is very challenging to deal with, but we can do it for sure. I need to change to a stronger bow soon enough, but I guess I'll just keep with the Demon King's bow for now. Gotcha. Ooh. Whoa, hey, wait a minute. Okay, somebody just saved my butt there. Thank you. Oh man, that was scary. Okay, slice you just once is enough to get rid of the rest of your health. Wow, that did a lot. Okay, we need to be very careful here because these guys mean big business. Yeah, we got both of these guys. So grabbing all the extra goodies from what you guys dropped. And then if I could, ow, not get hit by, by that, that hurt. I do not have much food at the moment. I really need to cook up some more soon. Um, I guess for now, I'll just eat up something like this. Gotcha. And then trying to get over there. One way or another. Okay. Um, I think, ooh, let's do something like this. I have the shield out for now, which might be enough to protect me. Um, just trying to slice away at you and then we'll be able to deal with the big guy. Ooh, I got two for one there, very nice. Everybody staying busy, here's our chance. So we're gonna go here with the Captain Four Reaper. Whoa, I think I dodged it, really hard to tell. Uh, I didn't dodge that one. Um, okay, I just dropped all my stuff. I really need a path. Come on, come on, just keep going, keep going. Um, let's get some teamwork here. Boom, that's gonna be it. That was a crazy fight. Okay. Very scary, very exciting though. I'm glad we got it done. Let's see what kind of, whoa, cool rewards we got. I mean, right now it's all flying away. Um, I need to grab it as soon as possible because that's some good stuff to have. So we have here the Captain Four Construct Torn. Um, this bow, the Mighty Construct bow, is probably gonna be worth it. So I think I will drop this. And that's a strong Construct bow. Pick up the Mighty. And then what do we have here? The Shock Emitter Club. I don't know if that's all that much worth it. Let me toss this into the floor for a moment. Whoa. How much damage? 21. That's not too much. I think I'll drop it for now. I'll keep onto this, and if we, you know, we can use that Captain Construct Torn or something else. Cool looking chest over here. What will this one have inside? Three cannons? Okay, we'll make the most of those at some point or another. Also have, you know, just some other things to grab here from the fight that I didn't get before. What is this? Oh, it's spring shield. Crazy. 50 defense from that one. Interesting. Um, Soldier Contra, four horn. Really nice. Oh, you know what? That might be the shield I dropped before. I mean, this seems to... Whoa, that's so cool. That is so cool. I love that. That's gonna be a really fun way to get around. That's such a fun idea. Wait, it didn't work. Oh, did it break it? Ah, oh, that's a one-time use, huh? That's a shame. That was such a neat idea. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I had my fun with that one moment. You'd think it would stay around for a what, more than one little spring, but I mean, I guess if I'm really desperate to get up something, <laughs> I could use that strategy. Doesn't seem to be the most sustainable though. And oh no, it's a little Korok. I need to reach my friend. Where's your friend at? 
If they're not too far off, I can help you. If not, I might save them for later. Let's see. Um, hi. Oh, my friend and I got separated. Where to? We're just over there. Okay. What I'll do, at the least, is I will mark this on our map, as we always do. There we go. So, what's going on with all this? This is gonna be our next one, the Dueling Peaks Stable. Oh, yeah, I remember the Dueling Peaks. Very cool that we're here. Um, let's take a look around it then. Wanna rest for the night? Oh. Well, well, Traveler, welcome to Dueling Peaks Stable, right at the foot of the Dueling Peaks themselves. If you need a guide to the roads around here, I can let you know what's what. Oh. Things have changed around here lately, haven't they? Even the towns are different. There's been a lot of changes around Kakariko Village and Hatena Village in particular. What's going on in Hatena Village? Hatena Village is at the edge of Hyrule, far to the east. It used to be known primarily for its milk and its local produce. Then, out of nowhere, a woman from the clothes shop became a famous designer. Now the town has become a center for fashion of all things. Do we protect the old or embrace the new? Kakariko Village and Hatena Village seem like they're at a major turning point. Kakariko Village is a Sheikah village to the north. It used to be a quiet town. That all changed when strange ring-shaped Zonai ruins fell from the sky. Now it's crowded with both researchers and tourists. Oh. If you're looking to do something special, I recommend visiting Dueling Peak Stone Statues. There's no road up to the summit, so it's no easy track. But the view of Hyrule at the top is a true wonder. Maybe at some point. Is this like your twin brother? Hi. Uh, still up and about after sundown, huh? Welcome to the Dueling Peak Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Well, thank you very much. So we actually have a reward available, which is really oh. exciting. Um, oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the counter where I keep the ledger and call me over. Now then, once again, oh. welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride? How can I help? I think I'm good for now. Huh? Uh, all right, have you read the paper lately? There's some big story about the Demon King returning. I feel like I should be preparing for the worst, but what can I even do? Good question. So maybe we should sleep until morning in a moment, but I guess I'll first check out the ledger. Such a cute little pup. Hi. So adorable. Yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Receive reward. Ah. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. As a reward for 16 points, you can now enjoy our mane restyling service. This will let you change the look of your horse's mane. Treat your favorite steed to a new hairdo. If you save up just four more oh. points, ooh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Cool. Oh. So, welcome to the stable. You want to lodge with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees and a Melania bed will be 50. Let's do the Melania bed. Oh. So we'll wake up more energized and it may also share a mystical message. It's a very popular choice among our customers. Sure. Um, we'll wake up in the morning. Just because it always makes me curious, you know? <laughs> I am Alanya, the god of horses. In Farron Grasslands, there's a place called Zakasa Ridge. There, many excellent steeds roam wild and free. Well, I think I've got a good idea of that by just looking around, but thank you, Melania. See, the Twins Peak, Twin Peaks stables are pretty cool ones so far. But we'll definitely have to look around today and just sort of see what people might have to offer. Um, we do get three oh. extra golden hearts, which is great. Good morning, how are you? Did you hear a message? As thanks for lodging with us, we present to you with one point. So um, there's three points away from our next reward, which will be an extra horse. Oh. Uh, the headlines say that the Demon King is returning. I feel like I need to prepare for the worst, but what can I do? We said that before, so um, let's see this one. Ah, Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? It has. We stable owners are going to be putting paintings on display for everyone to enjoy. The stable association figured it'd be a good idea for us to hang the frames first to get ready. Quite the frame, isn't it? I want to fill it with an appropriately grand scene of natural splendor, but, well... Tell me, Link, do you know where to find Hyrule's most beautiful sunrise? At the edge of the sea southeast of here is a small fishing village called Laurelin. It has a reputation as a resort town, oh. but its real claim to fame is, is its beautiful moment where the sun rises over the horizon and lights up the whole village. And they say the most breathtaking view of the sunrise is from the summit of Tough Mountain. Mm. I'd love to see that view myself, but it's so far away. I just can't leave work, nor can I climb mountains. If only I could see Hyrule's finest sunrise, I'd paint my own picture of it and finally put that frame to use. A picture for Dueling Peak Stable. 
Tasserin, the owner of the Dueling Peak Stable, wants to hang a painting of Hyrule's finest sunrise, which is said to be visible from the summit of Tuff Mountain to the southeast of the stable. Maybe there's a way to take a picture of it and show it to Tasserin. We'll have to have an episode where we just do a bunch of these picture quests. And do you want to hear the newest newspaper news <laughs> from uh, Shiko? Ooh, a special edition. I hope it's more exciting news, like Zelda returns safely or something. Demon King, cause of the upheaval returns. That, that isn't good news, I don't think. Sources that confirm that return of the Demon King within Hyrule Castle. Watch out for increased monster activity. Good things aren't called Demon Kings. I don't think I, I want to go outside after reading not all that. <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh, we got an interesting like, little pie over here too. Cool. Some people are snoozing still. Hi. Footprints. I definitely saw them. I saw them too. <laughs> Footprints, are they talking to each other in their sleep? Maybe once they wake up. Oh, hey, Beetle. Hey, of course I'd see you all the way out here. You're an adventurous traveler just like me. Well then, can I tend to you to buy? Or are you selling today? Let's see what you got. Do you have anything new? Um, arrows, um, nothing super crazy. So, enjoy your travels, Beetle. What's going on back over this way? It looks like we got some goats around here. Just chilling out. Oh, and also, of course, we have the, um, the well. Dueling Peak Stable Well here in West Nicluda. So if we plop down this way, maybe I could uh, grab some mushrooms and stuff. That'd be great. So just running around here, getting all these other highland shrooms and the bright caps. Is there anything much more in here? There's another well within the well. Will this count as two? Whoa, neat. Now this one, filled with goodies. And we just got a weapon not too long ago last episode that should help us break this all open, the spiked ball hammer. So, you know, at least I think it would, maybe you want to help out too much, but we got a couple of rock salts from that, which is always good. And then over this way, got that one, and that one, cool. Over here, lots of goodies to grab, and it looked like it went deeper. There's another well opening over here, so right now I'm just grabbing this stuff, but eventually I want to head down there. Got it. Cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I guess I can make use of it by uh, breaking some of that open. That's a convenient way to get it done. I don't see too much else in here besides that. Yep, I think we did a pretty good job clearing this out. One more little uh, thing right here. And we're back down into the well inside of a well. Inside of a well. <laughs> Oh, there's a fairy here. A couple of fairies, actually, so let's be very careful. Very, very careful. I might even want to unequip my current gear, just because it can be very noisy. Oh, yeah, much quieter. So now I should just be able to show up, grab a fairy. That's really good stuff. Obviously, if I could get a couple of the frogs, too, that's probably a good idea, but not as much my concern. Let me try to just, yeah, they, they get scared really easy. You can't even jump over to them like that. So I'll have to be more careful this time for this next one. But even just getting, you know, one or two fairies is a total lifesaver. So I'll turn like this. Is there really anything else around here? See, even those couple of footsteps scared that fairy away. Not even what I meant to do. I think just from falling from the ledge, we got out of crouch minute. So very unfortunate that I only got one, but it's okay. Still well worth it to get that. And of course we still get rewards and progress for finding this well. So I'm not complaining. What we got over here, got a uh, tireless frog, and then boom, little glowing cave fish. I think that's about everything I can find around here. It looks like we got this pretty well cleared out. So I'm going to climb up out of this one wherever I can, just like this. And where will we pop up, I wonder? Seems like right outside. Well, that's actually perfect. So I'll get my gear back on. Are they still snoozing? They're not, they're up. So I really wanna to talk to them. The footprint's still there? Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. If you want to use the stable, then go ahead and talk to dad. I mean, the man at the counter. Will do. So that part was like this. This part was like that, and that part was, um, oh, I see it. Whoa, darn, without Shibo, I'll never be able to remember what the footprints looked like. Well, Shibo's right here. What? Welcome to Dueling Peak Stable. Hey, Darton, there's a customer. You have to say welcome. Uh. Those footprints, were they like this? No, I'm sure they were like this. 
I'm sorry, we're supposed to say welcome together, but Darn is obsessed with drawing those footprints. Footprints? We found some strange footprints south of here in Farron. They were big. No animal I know leaves tracks like that. They were footprints no one's ever seen before. We want to tell our dad right away, but they disappeared in the rain. He said we probably just dreamed them up, but we did see them. Really, we did. Huh. Well, guess we'll have to look around here for a creature nobody's seen before. Sounds pretty scary, actually. Okay, so what's going on over this way then? It looks like we have a couple more travelers. Some luck. I haven't seen your mug before. You new around here? Listen, I got a proposition for you. It involves taking care of some no good pirates. What do you say? Feeling brave? Pirates? <laughs> I'm only kidding. A skinny little guy like you, you'd be a gunner before you got out your sword. The pirates I'm talking about, they're nasty characters. Attacked Orland Village on the coast south of here. That place is my home until the pirates forced me out. A peaceful village, blessed by the sea. That's what it used to be. So I wonder, are the the uh, pirates, are they supposed to be like Hyruleans? Hylians, that's what it is? Because we've never fought like another Hylian in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, I don't think. Except for like, does like the, um, the ninja guys count? I don't think so, you know? I'll keep digging. Oh, hello, you're a traveler, aren't you? But I guess we're all travelers, aren't we? In one way or another. <laughs> you haven't by chance heard about leg a legendary pumpkin, have you? Legendary pumpkin? So you don't know? Of course, why would my luck be any different today? Rumor has it that deep in a forest somewhere, there's a legendary pumpkin called the Master Cord. <laughs> I heard the flavor was powerful enough to defeat any monster, no matter how strong its stomach. But everyone I ask at it, about it looks at me like I'm talking nonsense. Maybe I was fed some bad info. Huh, who knows? Very interesting. What's going on way over here? This big uh, waterfall. Looks like there's something out in the water there. What is that? Oh, it's like a Kuroxy thing, I think. Oh, you know what? If I run out there, the water's pretty shallow. I think I can pull that and uncork it. Right? Is that what I'm supposed to do here? Like this, maybe? Oh, you know what? I bet you I'll have to, like, pull it with, like, maybe a vehicle or something? I mean, there is this over here. Can I just take this? Will, will they be mad if I borrow this? I'm really curious. Seems like a fun Korok seed for sure. So I'm gonna get this really quickly. Also that purple stuff spouting out isn't Kilton or whatever. It's a, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the fairy. So I wanna attach this to this. Attach, uh, th there it goes. So what if I were to break out like a rocket and to send this thing flying? Would that work? Guess we're gonna find out. Okay, there's the rocket, so I just want to, and I guess I could have just attached the cork to the rocket without the thing. This gives more real steel. I'm almost out of arrows. Whoa, that ripped it off immediately. There's one flying. There we go, we found you. That was so neat. So there's seven Korok seeds for us. I gotta tell you something. I've been hearing that Korok forest up north of Hyrule Castle has been really weird lately. This is weird. Uh, I'm kind of worried about everyone in the forest. Whoa, it just went flying way over there. So I guess we gotta check out Korok Forest at some point then, right? Yeah. I heard that Korok Forest has been kind of weird lately. I wonder if it's better yet. We'll definitely have to go and find that. I don't remember exactly where it is. They said north of something. Maybe up here? Oh yeah, I think maybe up here. All right, well, it's been a while since we've been around there, but we'll definitely make it a point to do that soon. Are we still headed the right way is the question, yeah. I think so, because we probably want to go in between the dueling peaks and then out this way. That's our goal at the least. We're making some good progress. I do need to be really careful because I am just about out of arrows. I didn't realize I'd gotten so low. What's going on with all this? This is the big twin bridge. The path seems to go yet yeah, right past here. What's up with this, son? Danger, severe damage has made this crossing hazardous, especially for horses. Luckily, I'm not on a horse at the moment. Oh, there's some fish over here I wanna grab. Gotcha, the stamina of bass. There's the ferry. The ferry's not gonna open up until we do some other stuff, but it looks like I could maybe make a boat or something. I wanted to get down and across that way, but I'll save that for later. Because for now, I do wanna fight these guys. So, 
I know I'm low on arrows, but if I could just knock you out and then do the same for you, get over there really quickly, and then uh, just start fighting with anything I got, really. Right now, I'll try the stone talus hammer. Ooh. Come on. Oh, got gotcha. you pretty good there, actually. It wasn't so bad. Roll you over like that. Get some water to protect us. And then I'm going to jump and swing. And not happening. Oh, I tried to dodge it. Didn't quite work. Oh, the body slam. You don't see that often. I wasn't expecting that. Do I have a picture of you, by the way? Yeah, okay. So I know I took one, but then I died a couple of times, and I just didn't know if it counted. Anyways, let's try some other stuff. I got the Sapphire Scepter. You're kidding me. Um, they actually hit me with that. That was very unfortunate, but I'll try the Black Moblin Hammer now. Boom, boom. That was pretty nice, but I need to hit you again. And I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. Ready, one more swing, shoot the trick. There it is. I really need to make some food soon, don't I? Maybe I should go back. This will make me glow. Which, you know, if not anything else, is funny. So, uh, I'll grab all of this. I can't carry any more weapons, but there is one more guy up here. I shouldn't use that, though. Oh, they found me now, somehow. I'm going up here. I gotta be careful, because they had the lightning arrows, but I don't think they would hit me from here, right? That'd be a very bad idea for the both of us. Please don't do that, buddy. Um, here, swing, swing, swing. Gotcha. And I'll grab as many of these as I can, which isn't too many, but is there another one up there? I think we found them all. I guess we'll see in just a moment. I get five arrows, that's what I'm looking for. Can I get up there? Not from here, so I'll just have to do this the old fashioned way, I gotta climb up. Ooh, actually, more arrow bundles. Don't mind if I do, that was actually a bunch. It's so now up to 32 arrows, that's so much better. So I would like to climb up here as soon as I can. I don't wanna use any more of my stamina. There we go. I'll save the extra stamina for later. And, okay, there's not too much up here. So yeah, I'm gonna fly back over this way then, just for the sole purpose of making a bunch more food. I feel like that's just what I really need right now, is just a bunch of food at our disposal. That would help out a bunch. I don't know if I'll make anything new, but you never know. It might be something. So we're back here at the Dueling Peak Stable. Um, first, I'll hold the truffle, because the truffle will give us extra health and stuff. So I think we combine that with uh, just something simple. Uh, I think we'll just do a couple of apples. I do need to get some more apples soon though. So truffle, truffle and apple gives a bonus golden heart there. And then we'll do something like this too, because these give extra hearts too. So yeah, we get five from that. I might want to combine that with something like, what if we did the stam bulb? That might be good. The energizing steam fruit, very cool. Just trying to get like a whole variety of different things we can use here, like maybe some meat and stam bulbs. That might be a good idea. So I get even more. Let's try, we have a swift carrot over here. Combine that with some raw meat. We'll get the steamed up, or the heavy steamed meat. Uh, I wanna make sure I have at least one of everything just in case, but I do have things like the chickaloo tree nut, spice that we can add for other things. Hmm. I definitely need to figure out some more recipes soon, but I have a lot of different this year. I might just want to do a Hyrule Bass for now. Let's do a Hyrule Bass and then stamina beyond its maximum limit might be cool. There we go. Enduring steamed fish with some extra stamina granted to us. And then also the fortified pumpkin is always a good one. We'll combo that with a couple of uh, Hylian tomatoes. Maybe I can make a dish just, just. Oh, here we go. The tough steamed tomatoes. Ooh, defense up five plus three, so eight hearts there. Grants a low-level defense boost, tomato cooked while wrapped in a leaf. The heat brings out its medicinal effect. Very cool. So I'm gonna like just do like a bunch of Highland tomatoes. Simmer tomato, cool. What about some fruit and tomato? Simmered fruit, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so um, I, I have been curious about the golden apples, but maybe I should save them? What if I did something like this? Simmered fruit, okay, nothing too crazy. That's a lot more food for us though, so we should be able to fight a little bit longer, a little bit more with all that kind of stuff. I think, what else is there? This can restore gloom. I feel like that would be a good thing. Let's make some stuff with the sun, because I have a lot of sun to line. S sunny steamed meat. 
restores hearts damaged by gloom. This meat has, or this meat dish has been wrapped in fragrant leaves and steamed to preserve its moisture. Cool. I might just want to do that a few times then. Just one more time with this. Might be a good idea. There you go, plus three. Just that way, if we start losing hearts to gloom in whatever way, we can get them back a little bit. So now I want to continue up this, not this path, this path until we get to our goal. So back on the path we were on before, of course I could take the, a boat over. The only reason I'm not doing that is because my <laughs> usual luck is that I'll set up a boat, I'll take all the time to do that, and as soon as I do, I'll find stuff on land that I want to go check out. So I figure we'll just keep it to just land travel for now. I could get some, you know, more detailed things set up, but for right now, I just, I don't know if it's really all that much worth it. This little rock over here. Weird. I'm not releasing too much. Of course, I do remember exploring a lot of the Twin Peaks and Breath of the Wild. And while I'm sure I will want to do that again at some point here in the Kingdom, well, actually, let's get this. Come on, go up. And then let's go this way. There we go. That'll help us get across a little bit faster, right? Pretty useful little trick, I suppose, between, uh, Tulin and, uh, you know, Bo. Oh, and there's some monsters swimming in there too. So maybe it's for the better that I didn't. Shh, it's a silent shroom. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Have you heard about the, the one of the clue to specialty, the silent shroom? It's easier to find those sneaky little mushrooms in the dark. If you manage to get your hands on one, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And get this, eating one makes you move more quietly. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from something called a silent shroom. They're a must if you're hiding or fleeing at night. <sighs> Come take a look. I'm sure you need some marvelous miraculous mushrooms. Sure, I'll see what you have. So these silent shrooms, we do have a couple of them already, so I don't really think I need any. But yeah, good to know. If you still need something, I'm good for now. Come back whenever you need the finest mushrooms Hyrule has to offer. Well, what was, oh, wow, that almost landed on me. This would actually be a good opportunity to get to the top of the Twin Peaks pretty easily. Oh, are you a silver one? In there, that's a silver old Zolfo swimming around. I definitely want to take them on for the sole purpose that I just, I haven't yet. So I might be able to get some good um, monster parts from it. So let's try to find, oh, you right here. And I wanna see if I can't strike you with lightning. Ready and now. Oh, whoa, hey, convenient. <laughs> let's go and beat you up as much as I can then. I missed. There we go, there we go. You wanna come up here then? Keep fighting us? If you do, I'll probably hit you with lightning. But you're probably just gonna try to hit me with uh, some range attacks here, because it's usually what they do. So, you know, Mo? Ah. No, you got them. Okay, cool. I need them to come all the way over. They're working on it, they're working on it. Okay, ready? Ooh, you guys are doing some good work there for sure, but let me get a couple of shots in, right? Here, I'll throw the lightning over. Did that work? It did work. It's just, it's the water is too high up for me to wanna do too much. Almost, almost, ready, gotcha. That's pretty good, like we almost have you defeated with this. I just would appreciate it if you came over here. here. I'm gonna call the whole squad over so that hopefully they will get onto the land. Once they're on land, it become a whole lot easier for me to actually, yep, here, fight them, here. Electrocute you like that, switch back over to the Black Boss, Boca of Bone, Club, whatever it is. No, wait, I need all your stuff. So let's get over here, we'll get, a lot of cool things. The silver Lizophos horn, a sickle-shaped horn that looks like it could be, could slice anything it touches. Attach it to a weapon to vastly increase its attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Cool, so I wanna get a quick picture of that too. So we will uh, pause, go down here, and drop it. It really does look cool though. Very impressed by that. So look at this thing. Wow. Can't wait to get that into a weapon. It'll look ferocious. So with that done, um, I could, if I wanted to, get this to bring us up. If not anything else, I'm just really curious. There we go, we're going up. Whee! Because you know, the Twin Peaks seems to have a lot going on. I don't know if it, I did not press anything there. Why did I get pushed off? That was really weird. Maybe that's my sign that I should save it for later. I did not press my controller though. That was very, very odd. There's probably quite a lot we could get distracted with there. We're already pretty far into today's episode. I'm very focused on just trying to get to what we need to. I think that's the tower we're off to, right? I believe so. So that's what I'll be trying to focus on. Let's get up here, please. Oh, just barely. That was close. Get some dazzle fruit out of it. 
go over this way. It looks like this is some some ruins for sure. What time did you hear that? Oh hey, good to see you. Allow me to guide you. Welcome. On this land sits the sacred shrine entrusted to me. I believe I believed my destiny was nullified when this land fell to the surface. It was therefore fortunate that I fell to this precise spot. I can still fulfill my task. What is that task? To give visitors in this land particular words of guidance. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shrine will appear. Heed these words and offer keys to all three altars to reveal the sacred shrine. Keys born of water. Near some ruins at the foot of the dueling peaks, a steward contract said the riddle, this riddle would guide you to a sacred shrine. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shrine will appear. Huh. So I'm guessing these altars are the things that they're talking about. To actually find those though, I might need to, uh... Okay, well, that's not really what I wanted. But, uh, I might have to go into the water and look around for them. I'm guessing if I brought up this, I might be able to see some. But what does this sign say? Uh, so to the left, the Proxim Bridge. To the right, the Dueling Peak Stable, which is where we were just coming from. Trying to get to that tower by the end of today's episode. Not seeing too much I can jump into right now when it comes to those supposed keys, but now that we know it's a thing, we can always just try to figure it out later. It's always cool to find another shrine. And then what's with this giant lightning storm? What was that? Oh, hey, just a little jelly. <laughs> we can maybe handle you. I might just leave it for my friends. I think we're probably along the right path if we go up here like this. Let's see. Yep, it's way up there, so we're not too far off. But again, getting up there, especially while it's raining, and oh, look who it is. Oh boy. Can we wake them up just like that? Are they stuck in the ground? Uh. Huh, their eye isn't here. I'm really confused. Usually these guys are like stuck into some rocks or something. This one, not the case. Maybe I should come back during nighttime. That is very odd. We've not seen one in a situation like that. We've only seen them underground and uh, in the depths. So farther underground. Whoa, what do we got up here? Looks like a couple more Pokemon. Maybe an easier way to get over there would be just to climb up to the top of this one, glide across, something like that might be good. Okay. Stand bulb over here. Quite a lot of them chilling out over there, though. You know what? I don't have a lot of arrows. I need to make the most out of them. Ooh, they might see me here. I hope they don't, but they might. Ready, and... Now! Oh, that was so good, actually. The battle talus is popping up. They're not happy to see me, uh, but it's okay. There we go. Uh, there's still so many. There's actually still so many. Um, you wanna help me out again? That'd be great. Because they are absolutely gonna try to throw some stuff at me, so I think I should probably get the, the reversal thing. Ready? Gotcha. Ready, I know you're gonna throw a rock at me or something. I'm ready for ya. Now. Send it right back to the sender. You got mail. All right. Let's go here if I can, please, please. That would be really cool if it worked. That'd be really cool if it worked. This is like, it's blue and I'm pressing the button and it just nothing happens. Oh my gosh. All right, come on, this is my chance. It's gonna throw another one. I toss it right back at you. So here, get me up there, please. Oh my goodness. No, no, that's not what I wanted it to do. Get up there. Yes, perfect. And then I wanna switch over to what exactly? I think my best bet right now is a spiked iron ball hammer and it's really go crazy on you. Luckily this isn't a very high health one. Whoa, see ya. Okay, I was not expecting that. Luckily I sort of caught myself. That was crazy. So yeah, another um, enemy defeated here. Very cool and there's a bunch of goodies on the floor now. So extra arrows that I really needed. Um, extra bow, cool. So do I have any weapons that I really want to combine with stuff at the moment? Not really, so that's where this is a little unfortunate. Uh, I guess I'll just not take it, unless I want to combine it with a shield, which I guess I could. Hmm. Especially since I have a lot of these. You know what, sure. We'll do this. 
combine it with my shield, that gives it 13 extra damage or defense, which is pretty good. Whoa. I don't think I have found that one yet. Gotta keep that in mind. Okay, well that is what I'm trying to get to at the moment. I think my best way to do that now that the rain has subsided is just going to be flying over like this. I'm trying to climb up. If we're gonna climb up like this, I should definitely change into whatever mountain climbing gear I might have. Right there. And then I made a bunch of extra stamina food if I need it, but honestly, this is looking pretty good. That's not what I wanted. Oh boy. I got some of my stamina back from that. Wow, Link climbs so fast with this gear. It's great. Got it. Then we can get up here, just like that. We have plenty of extra stamina, so it's not too much of a sweat. But it looks like we have finally made it to the whole thing I've been trying to get to this entire time. This tower right here. And I do see our friends. We're at the Popple Foothills Skyview Tower. So I guess before we do too much, should I catch up with my friends here? Sure. It's late. Hi, Caleb. Ah, so you're here. Come to learn about the Zonai from an expert, I gather? I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much to that to that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. Ooh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Taro has already gone off to the Zonai Ruins. If memory serves, he spoke to, of starting his investigation around Drakozu Lake. I don't know his exact whereabouts, but if you go southeast, you should find the Zonai Ruins he volunteered to inspect. Mm. That said, it's night now and he hasn't returned, which is worrying. Did he get swept up in his work at the site? My goodness, the man is absolutely indef... indefatigable? I do not know that word. Defatigable, that's what it is, defatigable. It's like fatigued. Gotcha. Interesting, I learned a new word. So, the secret of the ring ruins. You travel to Skyview Tower in the Popple Foothills. Caleb, who industri industriously assembled the team's base of operations, informed you that Taro planned to start investigating the Zonai Ruins to the southeast of Dracozu Lake. Well, I definitely wanna go there then, but I think to figure out exactly where Dracozu Lake is, it might be a good idea to activate this tower. So let's open this thing up and get going. Very exciting, right? So it's not working. Uh, so what's wrong with this one? Do you have any ideas over here, Caleb? Did you still need something? There's nothing I can tell you about the Skyview Tower, and I don't know Tara's whereabouts either. Uh, but I can still ask you those questions anyways. Oh. Taro's already gone off to the Zonai Ruins. In memory serves, he spoke of starting his investigation near Dracozu Lake. I don't know his exact whereabouts, but if you go southeast, you should find the Zonai Ruins he volunteered to inspect. Oh. So southeast, that said, it's night now and he hasn't returned, which is worrying. Did he get swept up in the work at the site? Why must all of our work be so taxing? Does no one need an, an old hand at reviewing and cross-referencing ancient documents? And it doesn't help that I can't make my, take my eyes off that Skyview Tower. It's almost too impressive. Mm -hmm. Ah, still here, huh? Did you need anything else from me? Skyview Tower? Oh. I refer to the tall tower next to us. Yep. To be candid, I don't know its purpose, but it makes an excellent landmark for finding our base again. Mm -hmm. Though I wish it weren't so humbling to look at, the base I set up seems so meager in comparison. Well, I know what they're used mm -hmm. for. What's that? This Skyview Tower doesn't even work, you say? I don't know what you expect me to do about it. Take it up with whoever built the thing. Setting up this base was hard enough on me without passerby expecting me to play, play repairman. Uh. I worked hard to build it, and yet next to the Skyview Tower, it seems so inadequate. Ugh, all this fetting is making me thirsty. Maybe I'll get some water from that well. Uh. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have set up our base so close to it to begin with. All right then, so, good point. Help, Popple Foothills Northwell, there's somebody down there. Hello, who's down here? Uh, I don't see anyone. Let's get onto this rock. Oh, maybe in here, okay. Uh, are you, anyone here, please? Is it Taro? Hello? Oh, here we go. Is somebody locked up behind here? Who is this? Whoa. Hi. Elmerson, you, what are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? What's wrong? Uh -huh. I set off a trap in the ruins and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. 
over cool. there, huh? Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. Okay, so there's a cave in that direction. So let's make sure we're facing that way and try to find that cave entrance so we can help out Elmerson. Poor thing, he's just been stuck down here for who knows how long. And maybe this is our answer to figuring out what's going on with this tower. Who knows, seems like there's a lot going on here and whoa. Looks like there's like a big fort over this way and then there's Colton again. A lot going on. So where exactly is the entrance to this place? Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on down here. Hey guys, uh, okay, they, they left me be, that's good. It looks like that's the cave entrance right over there and another well too. So, I mean, I'm trying to find as many wells as possible. Okay, I got one rupee out of you. I don't know if I'll be able to do too much more because I don't know where they went. Uh, they went into the cave. So I'll follow them in just a moment. In the meantime though, the Papa Foothill South well has me very curious. Is there gonna be extra stuff in here? Maybe this will contribute to sort of figuring out how to help out Elmerson. Regardless, I wanna just get what I can here and head down this part of the well a little bit. Okay. Whoa. A couple of bright caps over here. Oh, I see some something going on over this. Why is it so bright? I guess it's a bright bloom seed. So there's a note on the table. The road of of a gourmand is fraught with thorns. It's why I chose to travel alone. But this life does have its share of lonely nights. That's when you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making the body glow. I received, I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the material you use. For instance, when I ate a dish cooked with a glowing cave fish, I produced more light than I did after my bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimenting to do. There's no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight. Chef Aritami, the lonely cook. <laughs> Poor Aritami. So we could, of course, cook up some extra stuff here. I think I'm good for now. <laughs> yeah, that is another uh, well figured out, which is always good. I don't think there's really anything else going on around here. So we'll just go straight back up from where we came in from and try out this cave. Because I really want to be able to help out Elmerson. I want to find Taro soon too, hopefully. The wait and see. Discovery, we have found the Popple Foothills excavation site which doesn't seem to be much of a crazy thing. I thought it'd be maybe more intricate, but it looks like there might be some stuff to explore. For right now, I'm just gonna stand on this button and save you. Thank you, I knew you'd rescue me. I don't have much, but please, take this. Oh, whoa, okay, that's quite a lot. Thank you for the purple rupee. That is what lured me into the trap. I don't even know what, what to look, uh, even wanna look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I have to go. Thanks again. Ooh, so maybe they will help fix the tower. So we'll find out in just a moment. In the meantime, uh, let's do this, grab all these break caps. And what else is going on around here? Clearly there's more. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could, I have a sneaky idea here. I have a really sneaky idea. There you go. <laughs> That's so cool. So we're opening up another chest here, which has a topaz. Very nice reward, for sure. Um, is there anything else going on up there? It doesn't look like it, but this is a cave, so it will be in my interest to keep looking until we find a um, one of the gems, the bubble gems. Whoa, hey, I'm just talking about you. Don't attack me, please. Um, and that should give me my very useful bubble gem. Cool, so with all of that done, it doesn't look like there's anything else going on in this cave. I want to swim our way upwards until we get back to the Skyview Tower which is right over here. All right, so is Elmerson over here? Was it their job to fix it? You might now. Oh, we got also a bunch of Hyrule herbs that I would gladly like to grab. Just the more materials I can get of anything, the better. Um, yeah, Elmerson's up here. Did you fix it? Hello again. Oh. Hello there, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity, but I fixed it in a jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. 
I probably caused trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm going to get moving as soon as I calm down. Huh, so maybe there's another place we'll meet Elmerson again to get another Skyview Tower fix? Might be the other one that we saw in the distance. But for right now, we got this one activated. I'm so happy to see it. So the Poplar Foothill Skyview Tower is all fixed up. And with it, we'll be able to launch our way through this thing and uh, get a good view of this whole area. We're getting closer and closer to having all of Hyrule charted, which is fantastic. But for right now, off we go again. Hope Link has gotten used to it by now, right? Here we go. Ooh, and I'm starting to see some more of the uh, tropical theming down there. I think that's going to be, um, what is it called? It's not Nakluda, but the, the, the island over there, the the, uh, the beach that has the pirates attacking it. Very curious about that, and soon enough I'm sure we'll discover it, but there's still so much more other stuff to do in the meantime. For right now, I need to find Taro, who's by one of the rivers or something like that. Okay. This is such a huge section of the map, though. All of Farron Grasslands, Lake Hylia, the surface map updated, very cool. As well as this upper part with this mysterious storm. All right, well, we have some work ahead of us. For now, though, I mean, I could land on some, some sky islands here if I really wanted to. What I wanna do, oh, I see another one of these. These pop up on the map from time to time. Whoa, there's like a huge cyclone in the water over there, too. So many things to stay curious about in this game. I love it. I just want to land on this, because I feel like we've passed a couple of these, but I've not actually investigated one of them. It seems like it's a slab of some sort. Yeah. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. I'll need to be able to learn how to read it then, or then I'll get Taro up here. <laughs> okay, so for now, was it Dea Lake? Let me see. We'll go to our adventure log, the secret of the runes. Dracozu Lake. So where, Dracozu Lake is right down here. So that is in this direction, right? Sort of, right over here. If I'm not mistaken, but we're heading over to it now. So that's pretty cool. I might wanna stop at a shrine, get a shrine though, because we've it's been a while since we've done a shrine, for sure. So that might be worth doing soon. But also, I just sort of want to catch up with Taro as soon as possible. That one is a little bit far off. That's what I'm trying to get to. We're already pretty far into everything. But this does look familiar. This is sort of like all the jungle area. What is that down there? Whoa. What is that down there? I'm not sure. Something's very fancy. Because where exactly was he? Southeast by Dracozu Lake. So we're almost there. So I'm just trying to make extra sure, because it's, it's, it's along, this is the lake, that's the river. I'm guessing he'll be by the fire, because why wouldn't he be? There's a lot of ruins around here. And is our buddy over here? I guess not. Um, note on the table. Dear Caleb, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Did you see the pillar shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind of kind around here. An anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing a way inside. A new discovery. Naturally, I'll be going inside to investigate shortly. Join me as soon as you can, Taro. Huh. Okay then, so that's right over this way. I guess we should go inside of there and take a good look then. I'll go and save just in case it gets pretty crazy, but I'm heading in. There's a lot going on here. So hopefully Taro's in Taro is inside. Yeah, there you are. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Hmm, interesting. Oh, let me grab that. Oh, no, too late. Aha, you came after all. I figured you would, would after you made that breakthrough in the Ring Ruins. But listen to this. I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Here, look at this. <laughs> it's a Zonai mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous and that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just have a, a try at deciphering it. 
but some of it still eludes me. Mm. Maybe it's a poem? Or some kind of code, perhaps? Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get it on the same page. Oh. The first part says, where the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along the wide mouth, mouth forest serpent. What? What do you make of, of forest serpent and dragons there? Oh. To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins, designed to look like dragons. Forest serpent though, I haven't seen any designs like that. What, I'm, what am I missing? What other wide mouth forest serpent is there? Maybe, hmm, the forest serpent, it does remind me of a song that compared the Jacozu River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Aww. Next it says, offer, offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. I'm pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. That to me is the most understandable one. What in the world is a Zonai charge? And where's this tail with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. There's one other thing I'm curious about. Whoa. Oh. I should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it open. Mm. Can't crack the code, can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. The Secret of the Ring Ruins has been updated. He reunited with Taro in ruins presided over by stone dragon statues. Taro deciphered the code found on an ancient mural in the ruins, where the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide mouth for a serpent offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. So we don't have an electric garb yet. Maybe we can find one along the way? I'm not quite sure, but with more questions and answers, I think this is where we leave it so that we can explore more of it in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.